student athletes are back on the fields, diamonds, and tracks across southwestern Connecticut, and for the first time in two years, there will be a high school spring sports season. Hello everyone, my name is Ted Brennan, and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we preview the 2021 spring sports campaign. With the 2020 season canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the student athletes look to make up for lost time as they will be able to compete for state and conference championships. Jeff Braymeyer returns for his 38th season as the head coach of the Darien Boys Lacrosse Program. The Blue Wave last won an FCX title in 2018. This year's captains are not only happy to be able to compete once again, but also chase a conference and state championship. Yeah, no, we're, we're really, really excited. Um, just blessed with the opportunity to have a season unlike last year. Um, been practicing really hard so far, getting ready, doing everything we can. Obviously missing a year has been tough. Uh, we're a little bit behind, but nothing we can't can't get over yeah i, d I definitely think on paper we have one of the most talented teams i think i've, I've ever seen uh we have 15 some odd commits on this team and i just think it's all about just putting it together in the end uh with the limited practice time we've had right now and all the covid protocol stuff and everyone being in quarantine or injured it, it's been it's been tough but having the best coach and Lacrosse history on your side makes things easy. So Coach B has done a really good job. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty exciting uh, just being out there with everyone. we got a lot of ground to make up. We're just really motivated to be out there every day and trying our best. So, you know, we lost a year last year, so we're making up for everything. And, I mean, we're kind of just like battling every day. Um, I definitely think we have, like we don't have as many returning starters as we want. We definitely have like three or four kids that had like leading roles from previous years. So we are missing a little bit of leadership. But um, we have pretty good chemistry, especially from like freshman year and like just like building up to now. And that like one year break, like really gave us like the time to like bond like on and off the field and really like get going as a team. So I think it's definitely like the bonding and the chemistry we've built throughout these years is something uh, that's going to help us throughout the season. So. Lisa Lindley returns for her 26th season as a Darien girls lacrosse head coach. Much like the boys team, the girls team figures to once again be a force in the FCAC. The wave is set to defend its conference and state championships from 2019. I mean, obviously we were a little upset. Um, it's such a competitive program. We would have loved to see some of that out-of-state competition. But really, we're just so thankful for being able to get the chance to get back on the field and practice with each other. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And the team's looking good so far, so hopefully we can get something done. I think we're all super excited to get back on the field. Speaking for the seniors, the last time we played was our sophomore year, which is a long time ago. But these first couple of days, we've come out strong, been practicing pretty hard. Uh, we've already gotten into running and stuff, so I think everybody's excited to get going. Uh, yeah, similar to what Kate and Elle said, we're obviously disappointed to lose out-of-state games, but more than anything, we're just excited to play again. It's felt like it's been so long since the last time we've had a game, so it's just really exciting to get back on the field with the team, and we can't wait to start the season. It's time now to shift our attention to the diamond where DAF Media's own Peter McLean is standing by with more on the baseball and softball teams. Peter. Thanks, Ted. The Darien High School baseball team looks to continue the success they've had in recent years. After an FCAC championship in 2018 and a trip to the conference semifinals in 2019, the Wave looked to pick up where they left off two years ago. We're really excited to get going. Uh, we have a lot of new guys. Um, considering last year off and not having a season, I think we're looking really good considering full year off. And um, more than anything, we're just excited to go, get out there and compete, and um, hopefully make another run this year. We don't have many um, people on our team that haven't uh, played varsity baseball, so it should be interesting. But uh, I have full confidence in everyone. We're a pretty well-rounded team. Um, and I'm excited to see what we can do against uh, this upcoming competition. Well, I just think it's like it's a great group of guys. You know, everyone likes each other. Everyone's friends. We're all, you know, having fun in practice, jumping around, like picking each other up. But we're all we also can get serious. We also can uh, we, can, we can, you know, uh, like when someone's not doing something right, you keep them in check. But for the most part, I think everyone's just here to have fun. Uh, yeah, it definitely feels good to get out there. I had the opportunity to play in sophomore year. I didn't really play in the field that much, but I got, you know, see how varsity baseball really is. I got a lot of trust in our guys this year. I think we're going to go out and do big things and hopefully get in the FCAC this year. The softball team, meanwhile, will look to return to the success they found in 2017, where they won both an FCAC regular season and postseason title. After two down years in 2018 and 19, the girls look to rebound and compete for an FCAC title once again this year. Last year was definitely tough. We had a good group of freshmen come in who we weren't able to see, which was unfortunate, but we have an even better group of freshmen along with those sophomores 
and we're looking forward to a really good year. We think it's going to end up good. We are very excited. Um, with only being two seniors, the underclassmen too are really excited for us, um, and they're really encouraging us um, and kind of excited too to be successful this season. That's it from the Diamond. Back to you, Ted. Thanks, Peter. The boys and girls tennis teams will get an extra bounce this season as they're able to play on brand new courts. The boys team looks to have a repeat performance of 2019 where they won FCX and a Class L state championship. The seniors are just grateful to have another opportunity to compete. Yeah, absolutely. So great to have the new courts. Um, definitely fell for the seniors last year. Um, I know they, they were definitely looking forward to having a kind of a last season, especially after the season before winning FCX. But we're excited to get back out there again. Um, kind of a benefit to this year, we're kind of almost starting from scratch, almost an entirely new guys. Um, and they're all looking really strong so far, so we're really excited. I think I can speak for everyone on the team when I say that uh, this year is definitely a really, really big relief, especially when um, there were thoughts that even our senior year would be canceled, our senior season would be canceled. So uh, we got a really good group of people. Um, hopefully we, we can take uh, FCIC and States this year, just like we did uh, my sophomore year, um, which would be you know a really great way to go out with a bang. Yeah, I mean, it feels great. Um, I think, you know, it was tough definitely that like last season we weren't able to, I guess the seniors weren't able to like kind of uh, get their last moment in there. Uh, I mean, they worked really hard. It was tough seeing them go like that. But uh, we're all we're all really grateful that uh, we could um, have this senior season and hopefully finish off on a good note. The girls team also had a recent run of success, finishing 2019 15-1. and one. The Wave hopes to make a deep run this season at both FCX and States. Yeah, I'm so grateful to be able to have a season. I think not having a season last year is only going to motivate us more this year, and I think we're just excited to be together and be back out there. I'm really excited because we didn't get tryouts last year, so a huge amount of girls like weren't able to try out, but it just doubled this year, and so it's a, like, a huge potential for our team, and I'm just really excited to like see how we work as a team, get to know all the new players and, you know, really just like win. <laughs> I'd say we're all definitely very motivated as a senior. It would really suck to miss our junior season. And I'm super excited with a bunch of new players. We have a bunch of freshmen and sophomores joining the team. So I'm very excited to see the talent and how far that will take us. Um, I'm very excited. We have a lot of promising freshmen and sophomores that we didn't get to see last year, obviously. Um, so I'm very excited for the season. I think we have a great team and we can do well this year. The Darien Boys Volleyball Program has quietly become one of the best in the state. Two years ago, under the direction of longtime head coach Lori LaRusso, the Wave won a conference and state title. Even with key losses from that squad, Darien is ready to defend those titles. Feels great. I'm uh, ready to get going into the season and um, definitely progress as a team. Well, I would say that everybody still has the same mindset as every year. We're um, driven to work very hard and um, everybody has the mindset to get better and I can already see our team getting a lot better. Um, well, with a lot of uh, experienced players, me, myself, Frank and Luke, the other captains, uh, we look to lead our team to get better and to be motivated every day and hopefully to repeat that success winning as much as we can win. So, The Darien Rugby program has enjoyed some recent success. The Wave went 4-4 four and four two years ago and they'll look to build on that mark this season with some new players. Probably Usually every year, 60, 70 percent of our team, it's like the, it's their first practice this past Saturday. So it's like almost like the same feeling as when you get as when you're your kid, you know, you're developing like a passion for the sport. So what we really want to do with those new kids, that like 20, some of them just showed up on Saturday. We want to develop that passion, develop the enjoyment. So hopefully we can get them to play like later in the summer or sometime in college. So obviously we like we want to win games, but we also want to develop that passion and like enjoyment in the rest of our team. I'm really excited to get this season going. Uh, we're very excited for our games. Uh, we have some really tough challenges up, up ahead in terms of games. Some really good teams are playing, but I believe that this team can come through and we can win against these hard teams. Uh, I think overall, like all of us, like really grateful to have the opportunity to play again, and especially play a D1, which I haven't done in like a lot of years. So I think it's going to be pretty fun to see uh, how we're going to do this season. After missing out on not only last spring season, but also the past indoor season as well, members of the girls and boys track and field teams are ready to compete. Both teams have strong runners on the track and competitors in the field and will look to continue making strides. 
It's extremely exciting, um, especially last year. You know, we didn't get a season. Um, I was cut short on the indoor season last year too with a broken foot. So really looking forward to this season. We have some new um, girls, new freshmen, new sophomores to meet that we didn't get to meet last year. So everybody's really excited. Compared to the other spring sports, we had a uh, winter season last year. So it's uh, kind of a luxury that we had that uh, we could really work out uh, during 2019 and before COVID uh, without ne really needing an outdoor season. We've been training for a while now, you know, even during quarantine, we had, you know, pretty strict schedules. We wanted to stay uh, in shape. And then in the indoor season, it was basically just a preseason to get ready um, for outdoor. So we're excited to actually race um, and to put, you know, all our hard work on the line. And, you know, we're excited for sure. Well, it's such a relief because it brings us back to the years past, like three, four years ago when we first joined the team. Us seniors know how exciting it can be. And now seeing like real competitions start to show up, it's getting back to that level of excitement. Um, I think the whole team's feeling really motivated for the season. We were really disappointed to miss the spring season last year. Um, so indoor served as a great way for us to help to start building back our fitness. And we're really excited to reach the PRs that we weren't able to last year. I was really looking forward to a junior year, um, so, but you know, it, 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 quarantine and COVID, it affected us all, so um, kind of got to just move on, and I'm just really happy that we got a season this year. Everyone's been working pretty hard in the training, and you know, we're just really excited to compete against different people. The Darien Boys golf team has been known for its success on the course recently, dropping only one regular season match in 2019 in a one-stroke loss to Greenwich. Darian also finished second at the last two state tournaments. Led by seniors Thomas Osberg and Eric Lancelotti, Darian will look to bring home a state title for the first time since 1932. We're uh, so lucky here in Darian. We get the three really nice private courses at Woodway, uh, Weburn, and Country Club of Darian. It's such a special opportunity we have. Um, and then, yeah, just super excited to get out with the team this year. You know, obviously we missed our season last year. We lost a lot of really good guys, but we've got a lot of strong people up and coming. Um, we're ready to go and take on, take on some of our main rivals this year with Greenwich and Prep and, and New Canaan. So we're ready to go and hopefully capture the state title at the end of the year. I think I can speak for everybody saying um, the end of last year was unfortunate. Um, you know, we were, we were geared up to go. We had a really good, great group of guys. Um, so it was sad to see the season get canceled, but we knew as soon as that happened that we were getting prepared for this year. Um, you know, we, we groomed the young guys to be uh, really good players and we're excited to get back out there. Really grateful to be able to play on uh, three great courses. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to the season. Hopefully we can uh, do well and um, compete. Coming off of a 4-9 FCI performance in 2019, the Darien girls golf team looks to find success on the course this year. Led by captains Emily Fisher and Emily Hayes, the girls look to qualify for a spot in the postseason. It feels great. It's really good to like get the opportunity to even get out on the course for a little bit of time, even if it's not completely normal. Just even the little parts are what is making us look forward into the future. We're really excited because it was obviously sad that we didn't get a season last year, but um, we're excited to be back and we have a lot of new girls this year, so I think it's going to be a good season. Darianne has a rich sailing tradition. After being docked for two years now, the captains of this year's team can't wait to get back on the water and compete. We're really excited to have this season this year. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to sail last year, but we have a lot of great new kids joining the team this year and everyone's really excited for this season. You know, this year we're really excited to race. We've got a lot of new talent on the team, a lot of underclassmen who are really excited to be sailing with us. So I think it's going to be a good season and we're definitely ready to sail. Thank you all so much for watching this DAF Media Special. We hope you enjoyed. I'm Ted Brennan, signing off. Stay safe, wear a mask, and have a good night.